So did you think you got like learned a lot from Tatella? You know, because you had access to more. Even that was quite conservative, conservative to about ninety eight. Yeah. And then yeah, because the access of such an extraordinary range of fruit. Yeah. But also because like we love to cook, and we, you know, when you get into the matrix of flavour, you know, if a piece isn't in there, you just get frustrated, and, and that's. I blend to drink, I don't blend for a product. Right. I think a lot of people rush that whole process. And I love it. It's the best time of year. Vintage is great fun, drink a lot of beer, the sun's out, get dirty. But, you know, the blending season, getting a style to sing is, fuck, it's good fun. Do you, uh, I, I've done blending a couple of times, but I just can't, you know, I, I lose it mm. mentally because just a few it's percent exhausting. here and there. And when do you just say enough is enough? And how do you like stop thinking and just go? This, I'm happy with this. You know, what, oh, what? You take it away from the environment you're in and guzzle it you know, with a meal or at home. Yeah. It'll tell you if it's good. You see lots of things that you don't see. You can't do it in three hours in one spot. You've got to do it over three months, sort of thing. Yeah. But when you realise you're tinkering and you just keep fucking that, you know, just stop. You just go well because you can go too far with trying to be too smart. But it's a bit of patience and all yeah. that. It's exhausting. It's great. I, people have come in here and, and had full conversations with me, and you know, a week later they go, "How about you? Know, remember me?" And I was going, "Nah, who are you?" Because <laughs> you really put your head in another zone. Yeah. The alcohol's great for that. But <laughs> it's also about you know looking up to you in this imagination bubble. And it's Paco. Paco's interesting. He's like me. You, you get to a point, and, you, and then you find you, the ugliest barrel, whatever. It might be alcoholic. It might be bready. It might be whatever. And a, a one percentile of a dollop of that. We call it muddying up, you know, like putting black in a colour makes it more ochre. Yeah. Muddying up a blend, there's a, a lot of people fear that. They like the purity and the you know, conservative of it, but if you just get a feral barrel at the end. And I've got to say, the Amarone project that we've done over the years is that's fun. Yeah. It's fucking hard, <laughs> but it's fun. <laughs> well, yeah, it's. You can end up with three different wines. And you got to make a choice yeah. on what style you want to do. Because I know we've, we've done that quite a few times. We've rejected the, uh, perhaps the flash, you know, the... The safe house. The, the, the um, one that, you know, we know the wine writers and all like. And just say, well, no, this is what we're trying to do. Yeah. And... Uh, Hang on for the ride. <laughs> it's fucking scary. Until about a month after the release and people would say, oh yeah, love it. You go, good. <laughs> That's positive. It, you know, one of the things as I've got to know Australian wines is, 